behind me are a thousand trees, each labelled with the MPs of the United Kingdom, and we're getting them all to come out here, pick them up, and use them as the beginning of their commitment to plant billions more. The government has pledged to plant 11 million trees. That's barely enough to absorb the last one hour of global emissions. We need a lot more trees. We think that Britain used to be about 60% forest. We think that England used to be about 80% forest. We're now down at like 10%. We've got rid of almost all of the trees and we need to bring them back. an interview tomorrow morning so that's going to be intense and I'm just heading into Parliament now to speak to the Attorney General to try to convince him to plant more trees as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean it's just amazing to see you all here and this initiative with the trees is perfect because what better way to reach the hearts of some MPs who are not yet perhaps as engaged as they might be. I think this is absolutely brilliant so congratulations to you for that and for everything you're doing outside Westminster right now. It's really making an impact. I mean we need big systemic change from the government. We need bolder commitments to targets. I'm here with Ed Miliband, MP, who's just picked up this tree. How very, do you feel about? very pleased about the tree. Thank you. It beats, it beats an egg. And we also didn't hurl it. No, no, exactly. You actually we, gave it to me, which is excellent. simply handed it over. I think you've changed the conversation. I think the combination of Extinction Rebellion and the Climate Strike has changed the conversation and has forced politics to sit up and take notice. Well, I'm going to add in another bit first because you know, we need to get on with planting trillions of trees. But we also need to stop freaking deforesting uh, as quick as we can as well. That makes no sense to anybody. Hi, Hilary. Thanks so much for coming back down to the trees. Well, thank you very much for making these wonderful trees available. I have seen more of them walking into Parliament up the escalator, including an absolutely smashing hornbeam. So after about 300 MPs have come to pick up their trees, Lisa and I went into Parliament to meet the Attorney General and on the way out of Parliament, on the way out, um, Lisa overheard someone saying, Why has the Attorney General got a tree? Where's my tree? Why don't I have a tree?